All right, a um, couple of things before we start, guys. Today is Tuesday at 7 p.m. market time on every Tuesday. Joe Kelly does a large cap and options webinar for the MIC members. This pretty much is, I mean, worth the membership alone. We, the, other places do one ch webinar every quarter or whatever the hell it is. We actually have multiple every single week. And these are full blown, they, they do a great job, man. Joe Kelly and Aloha does it on Thursday. PowerPoint slides and everything. I'm like, dude, this is better than this college. I'm telling you right now. When I, I attended last week, I was like, dude, amazing, amazing stuff. These guys get better and better each time with the webinar. So at 7 p.m. tonight, large cap <coughs> and options. So we do options as well now. And then tomorrow at 2 p.m., market time, always market time. Tosh does his new member orientation, which we kind of changed the format now. So we're, we're doing live trading and kind of like a talk show host environment. Free to the public, 2 p.m. That's tomorrow. All right, so I'm going to jump right in, guys. The topic, because I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Just got the same question yesterday, pretty much every single day. Anybody that finds out that I trade, friends, family, whoever, they keep asking me, Mal, give me a stock tip. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, first of all, if I knew a stock tip, I'd be a billionaire. Second of all, I'd be a billionaire in prison. <laughs> that would be insider trading. So no, we do not know any stock tips. But what we do is we know the setups, we know how to find the stocks to make money. And that's what we teach every day. I don't give out stock picks, as to be honest, I, that's not what I do. I stay in my own lane. We don't do alerts. We teach you to be self-sufficient trader. Um, so they ask me all the time, do you think this is a stock market bubble? And I'm like, to be honest, I thought it was a bubble freaking for the past five years and it keeps going up, right? And I'm not going to be arrogant and keep saying I know the top. I know the top. Like all those arrogant guys who's been saying Tesla is a scam for the past five years. Looking pretty damn stupid, right? Same guy is calling fucking for hyperinflation. Gold going to a million dollars. The end of the world. Printing money. All this. They're all wrong. No one fucking knows, guys. And the fact that everybody thinks the market is going to go down shot the market's way up. When everybody thinks one thing, usually the opposite is, is going to happen. It's called overcrowded trade. All the smart guys shorted Tesla. Tesla squeezed the crap out of them. Guys been shorting the markets because they're supposedly printing money. Inflation and the Fed's still printing money. <laughs> You know, keeping the interest rates pretty much to zero and letting things inflate, including stocks. So is the market topping out? Who the hell knows? But what I do know is this. I know technical analysis. That's what we teach at MIC. We, I know support resistance, and that's all we can do. If anybody knows, they know for certainty what the stock market's going to do. They're bullshit. They should be trillionaires, not even billionaires if they know. No one knows exactly what's gonna happen, but on a finite, small level, small scale time frame, I can predict with high probability if the stock goes down past a certain line, support line, it's gonna go to the next line. I call that line to line. That part I know. It moves from support to support, support to resistance, resistance to resistance, things like that. That's what we call that line to line. And that's all I know. I know if the market breaks a certain support line, it's going to go to the next support line. And so, is the market topping? Who the hell knows? But you have to protect yourself. It may or it may not. So if you are short the market, thinking the market has topped out, you need to put a hard stop in. So the market has been killing everybody for the past year, uh, 12 years, okay? And the only thing I know is if it breaks a certain resistance, it's going to go to the next resistance line, okay? And so you have to use hard stops. And that pretty much answers that question. Is the market at a bubble? Who the hell knows? It's been a bubble forever, right? And I'm, so let me, uh, so I'm gonna give a quick 
um, analysis of what I really think the market's going to do, right? If, if I had to be a a furu, if I had to be a talking head on CNBC, I would say this. Main Street, the normal guys, mom and pops, small business, have been getting slaughtered, killed. They wouldn't, they can't even open up business for the, the year due to COVID, right? You have to send out these trillion dollar stimulus packages. People are getting $1,400. So the fucking, the, the normal Main Street economy is messed up. People do, normal people do not have the money. But for some reason, Wall Street is becoming, it, the stocks keep going up. How is that possible? That is the disconnection I see that tells me I think we are in a bubble. But just because I think it's in a bubble doesn't mean I will short and go all in. That's how you die. Okay? Bubbles, bubbles can last a long time. This bubble has been lasting for a long time, guys. All I know is you gotta be fucking careful. You have to learn how stock moves, how the stock market moves, how charts work. And so there's major support lines that if it breaches, if it breaks under, it will signal going from bullish trend to bearish, meaning it's gonna go down. So how do you know all this? Well, I, this is what we do every day, guys. You know, you can draw a technical analysis on the entire chart of the Dow, all that, or you can do it on a stock by itself. So the answer to that is I really think it is a bubble, but doesn't mean you short it. Same thing with a low, st low stock. It's, it's a pig. You know it's going to get diluted. You know there's a shelf out. You know there's offerings out. But it will squeeze you, your early shorts, and then fade all day. Same thing with the stock market bubble, guys. So the best way to do it is to be educated on knowing where the support lines are, where the resistance lines are, and how do you trade around it. Because what's going to happen is this. You're holding your, 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 you have 401k, things like that. And so another option you could do is this, guys. If you think the stock market is in a bubble, that you're going to wake up one day and it's going to get flushed out, you can do what's called a hedge. You hedge yourself because you're long on all these stocks because you're in your 401ks or whatever. You're long. And then you buy a bunch of protectionary put options on the market just in case it drops. Okay? You're paying maybe 10% premium, whatever you're paying. But it's just like a, an automobile policy. You're not going to crash your car, but I'm still paying $2,000 a year to do, <laughs> insure my Mercedes, right? Same thing concept with buying these options as a hedge. And this is where MIC comes in to help you guys. Joe Kelly. Are you there, Joe? Raise your hand if you're here, Joe. Maybe I'll bring you on to talk about that. Um, this might be a great thing to start talking about. Maybe for one of the future webinars. Maybe we can promote this. How to hedge and protect yourself in case of a stock market tank. Using protectionary hedge options okay so if you are up a ton of money on stocks which you if you are long for the past five years you are up a lot you but the thing is what goes up has to come down guys and nasdaq tech stocks has corrected insane people are doubling tripling their money from that stuff right but then you wake up one day you're like holy crap it's not bouncing. If you have protectionary puts to hedge those positions, those puts would pay you out. You can actually make money. More money than you would make if it goes down. It's all up to you. And Joe Kelly, is the, he's our resident options and large cap guy. Maybe this would be a great topic on a future webinar, how to protect yourself, your 401ks, all that. That might be a great idea, guys. And that's every Tuesday. He talks about that. But I think this this could be a great webinar. What do you guys think, guys? Alex, are you there, Joe? I mean, how to protect yourself, right? Because what's going to happen is that we have a lot of people that have a job and they have 401k. So you, you it would suck to wake up one day and have 30% loss on your on your retirement plan. And that's where these protectionary options will be hedged out for you. So 
I think that's a great idea. So, how do you trade? That's the topic we're talking about. How do you trade in a stock market bubble? First of all, bubbles or not, I trade it exactly the same. If we are in a bubble, if we are not in a bubble, the concept's the same, guys. Knowing your support and your resistance. Knowing, I call it the easiest way to do it. I call it KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. It's line to line. Support line, support line, pivot line, all that, whatever it may be. Support resistance, okay? And that's all you know. And each time it moves from a different region, different area, you move up your your stop loss. You have a, you can use a trailing stop. You can protect yourself with options, things like that. So, uh, so I don't need to guess. Based upon that, I do not need to be a market guru, an expert. I really don't care where the market goes, to be honest. I'm so adaptable. I've adapted to the point where I can trade long. I can trade short. I can trade small caps. I can trade large caps. It does not matter where the stock market goes. It just needs to move. So as a tra day trader, it's, it's, it's actually amazing. Volatility. Volatility is what I make my money on. Stocks are not perfectly priced. You see these guys bitching about manipulation. That's because they're losing. They're losing their ass. Anybody that you see on Twitter talk about stocks being a scam, manipulation, they're pissed off of fucking algos. They're losing their ass. You don't see them complain when they make money off of these manipulation. I make so much money off of manipulation for the past 15 years, 20 years of trading. That's how I make my money. If stocks were perfectly priced, it would be a flat line. What the fuck? If, 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 and so you see these guys are all pissed off about valuation. They're like, you dumbass. Now, that's because you cannot trade and you're pissed. Why does stock like Tesla keep going up and squeezing you? Their earnings suck. They're barely making money. But the stock is ridiculous. And they're pissed off. Oh, manipulation this, manipulation that. Why don't they just learn how to fucking trade? Why don't they just learn how to trade? It's the ego. So prepare yourself, prepare yourself, man. It could be a year. It could be next week that the market plunges. Who knows? It, it, there could be a callus. They're gonna be. So the key is. So I've always told people this. For me, I had survived a lot of these market crashes, the mortgage crisis, the financial crisis, things like that. And it's always triggered by. You know, and it's also like. Stop, uh, the housing bubble right now too I, I've noticed this guy so if a large tech company like Apple, Google, whatever starts laying people off, that's a huge sign um, everything's so priced so high it's because these companies stock is ridiculous so employees of these tech companies are rich they are the ones that pushing the housing bubble up so the moment someone gets laid off it's going to have a domino effect. So if you had to base, so in stock trading, we, we, we uh, as a short, we always tell our guys, wait for a signal that the stock has topped out. A signal could be a death candle. The death candle for the economy, in my opinion, is lay, layoff. If you see a big tech company all of a sudden start laying people off, that means it's slowing down. But to be honest, I'm like, who the hell is buying an iPhone? Why is Apple so hot? Things like that. I mean, it's a pandemic. How the hell? In my opinion, it's all artificial bullshit. The Federal Reserve, all these people are buying stocks to keep the economy afloat. They're printing money, they're borrowing money. It's all, it has to come down. But it doesn't have to come down. That's the thing, it has to come down, but they could probably push this thing for another 100 years. Who the hell knows? If they keep printing money, right? Going to war, things like that. Who the hell knows? They are very strong. Um, but the key the I always see is this. Layoffs. Every time there's a crisis, companies are laying off. And these guys are making ridiculous amount of money at Google, at these startups, all these things. Zoom, oh my God, right? And so, if you see your friends getting laid off from these high priced positions, that's a, that's a good indicator. It won't... It's not going to be gradual. You're not going to have a fucking... You're going to wake up one day. That's what happens. So the mortgage crisis, they woke up one day. They woke up one day and they go, holy crap, what the hell? <laughs> you know? that, that's the thing. You, you'll get so fucking blindsided. Because what happens is big money knows, man. In my opinion, there's big money knows. 
they have to they have to get rid of trillions of dollars of their assets and it takes time they're, they're, so the mortgage crisis what they did is they they held up those fucking convertible swaps whatever the hell it is for the fucking mortgage shit right they, while they sold it <coughs> so I was, I'm surprised Goldman Sachs didn't go to jail they have emails leaked by Goldman Sachs saying these these mortgage swaps are worthless but they're selling it to their fucking their people they're selling it to their clients they're, they're, they're high worth guys they're selling it they're, meanwhile they're shorting it it's fucking so scammy but these guys wrote the rules for some reason no one went to jail you know it doesn't matter this is this is the fucking manipulation guys and without manipulation we would in my opinion it'd be very hard to trade because I know the end game there's a reason why I trade small caps oh they're all manipulated so when I hear people start crying about scams and manipulation I'm just laughing I'm all wait you're making money on manipulation but then when you lose you you cry about manipulation right so if you know the end game guys that, that's what we teach at MIC we know exactly how to capture the end game so that's why I love to short all these stocks let them rip up eventually they're gonna come down and we know exactly when they'll come down not exactly the price but the signals right the death candle we can teach you all that guys um, let me see is Joe Kelly on I want to bring him on is he trading is he working Or Oren, who who's a uh, options guy at MIC? One of the um, one of the moderators. You have all this stuff, crypto guys. Okay, there's another there's another bubble, M NFT, non fungible token stuff. You gotta ha you gotta be ridiculous. I mean, you gotta have fucking so much fucking extra money where you're buying five thousand dollar fucking JPEGs. Sure, it's art, but it's when you see a fucking Pokemon card selling for almost a million dollars football cards baseball cards selling for millions of dollars for a piece of paper you know that there's so much disposable income people you know so it's, it's got to be a bubble the, the moment people don't have extra income all this shit's gonna drop down guys Alex what do you think who should I bring on should I bring on what do you guys want to talk about you have any questions guys otherwise we'll end it here the key guys is to learn how to trade via the fundamentals the process the process works across any market condition so people always worry about the bubble I'm not worried about the bubble I'm worried about there is no I'm worried that the fact that there's no volume I love these bubbles <laughs> that's how I make a ridiculous amount of money on them we make money when it's bullish we make money when it goes down we do not make money when it's flat line you need you need movement to make money as a day trader any questions guys I want to keep these short and sweet nowadays people have a very do me a favor do us a favor go to I mean we, we do this for free guys we every week Alex and I does this can you just go and subscribe to our YouTube channel please can you add us on IG everyone just start following me Alex Tosh and MIC please I mean that's the least you can do like our videos I don't talk about it enough but it really helps us because we're doing this for free. The reason is we, we want to combat the fake bucks. There's so many idiots out there trying to scam people. I've, I've never had so many impersonators pretending to be me on social media to try to scam you out of Bitcoin. I mean, dude, I don't fucking touch Bitcoin. You know that. I would never fucking DM you asking for your fucking money. You know, be smart, guys. Be smart. So do us a favor. The way you combat scam is to follow us, to have our videos go up. Click like on our videos. I mean, you. I see thousands of views, but not many likes. I mean, it's, why, why can't you just click like for us? Because these scammers are asking people to click like, and that's the thing. And so the scammer videos go up, and this is how you get scammed, guys. And the last thing you remember as a new trader how many people scammed you you don't want that to happen you value yourself that you're going to learn so help other people out just click like subscribe to our videos subscribe to 
Follow us on Instagram. Myself, Alex Tosh, and My Investing Club. Click on our, just click like when you come in. Just start clicking like for us. It takes you literally a second, right, to click it. But it helps out, guys, tremendously to get rid of the scamming. Any questions, guys? Uh, every time I do this Instagram live, the fact that you click like, we'll do this, Alex. Why don't we, who wants like a free month of MIC? <laughs> You know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do a giveaway or something, okay? Click a bunch of likes, subscribe to our stuff, text Tosh, and we'll pick uh, a couple people today to give a free month of trial, you know? Show us that you really care, because there's a lot of people out there that are skeptical, and, and there's a lot of people there that don't have money. You know, it's tough nowadays, so. So, you know, show us some love by clicking the likes and stuff, and then text Tosh. Tosh, give your number out, any questions you want, and say hey you know you subscribe and we'll put some stuff out for you guys and then maybe we'll announce it tomorrow during the live webinar uh some winners there we go alex uh like a thousand of these likes on this video and we'll give away you know monthly membership things like that right i mean just just fun stuff i mean we give away stuff for free all the time just help us out and we do this for the algos, the YouTube, Instagram algos to push our stuff up so that you do not get scammed. Because man, how, do you remember those fucking <laughs> videos by those fucking guys that claim to be the best traders in the world? How annoying those guys are. So if you don't wanna see those guys, start clicking like to our videos. Post your number again, Tosh. Hey, Joe's here. Can you go on for a little bit, Joe? Just for five minutes. Is that a great idea today? So, I want to hit, hey, brother. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Uh, yep. I want to How's it going, dude? So, I want to introduce everybody to Joe Kelly. He's our head moderator. Um, he does every Tuesday at 7 p.m. a large cap and options webinar, right? You do one tonight, Joe? Yep. Yep. We're doing one tonight. We're going to talk about the importance of opening volume. Um, and key times of the day, not just zombie hour, but other key times of the day in large caps. That's awesome. So I th if you missed the beginning, I talked about, because is the market a bubble? So you have guys with long positions, 401ks, IRAs. I talked about maybe it's a good idea to have the next webinar about how to have protectionary options to hedge yourself in case you wake up and some fucking shit happens. The market takes 30%. So yep. you have a lot of guys right now that are high on on all these stocks. They're up, right? They, they can be wiped out. So how do you protect yourself in case there's a bubble? Maybe buy some protectionary puts, options, things like that. So if you, that might be a great webinar for next week, man. How to protect yourself. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah they call it selling covered calls. So for any of you that are long equity positions, if you have like shares of... Uh, let's just use like don't Apple, tell, for don't, example. Don't tell them how. Don't tell them how. <laughs> we will save for the next week, but I think that'd be great. You know, there's many yeah, we'll, ways we'll to do probably, it. <clears throat> we'll probably bring on AK Wildlife for that one. That's what okay. he does probably every day of the week. Um, and uh, and we can talk about it. So, be, yep, be a little guest was, showing. The mortgage crisis, financial crisis, we woke up, it was bloodbath. And everyone's like crying, right? So, this is yep. a great way to do. Now we're planning it. So, you know, this is a, I, I tell them it's like a fucking uh, car insurance policy. You, you know, you're not going to get in an accident, but when you get in an accident, at least you're covered. So, how do you do yep. that, right? And make money at the same time. Yep. That it's is, insurance uh, so, against your long positions. So, that might be great for next week. And then for, for you guys right now, see you guys at Joe's webinar tonight. Anything else, Joe? 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you there. All right, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming on, Joe. Later, buddy. All right. All right, guys. That'll wrap it up. I think we have a great idea for next week's webinar, protectionary. You know, this is what you do, man. We don't just talk about it. We show you exactly how to protect yourself, how to make money. Because you don't want to get caught, man. You don't want to be the last guy holding the bag. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Next talk.